Hello again dreamers, it's Anna and welcome back to Dreamer Designs YouTube channel, a place for DIY crafts and tips and tricks to make your diamond painting experience more fun and easier. So unfortunately in the world that we live in and the current pandemic that we're dealing with, we have to wear masks when we step outside. So how about we make that more fun and interesting by blinging up one of our masks or leftover drills? So stick around to watch that, but before you do, please don't forget, if you have not yet, to hit that notification bell and subscribe to Dreamer Design so you don't miss out any new videos that we release. Alright, so let's begin! Alright, so first off, I'm sorry about the lighting. It is after dark right now, so this is the best I can do. <laughs> I do have this nice green uh, construction paper underneath, so um, to lighten it up. So, um, these drills are not particularly from Dreamy Designs, and that's because these kits with the special diamonds, like in the Jane Mayday kits, um, they're fairly new, and so I haven't done one yet, but these are just the ones I have uh, laying around the house. These are uh, what they would look like in their kits, maybe different colors, um, but we've got these big round ones here, and then these teardrop ones, like this. Then I got some more teardrops and round ones, so this is what I'm going to be using. I have this mask right here. Um, I don't remember where this one came from, but you can get solid colors like this from like Target or Walmart. And I've also got this liquid adhesive glue here. Uh, I used this in the video before. It's a quick and easy way to bond many types of materials, but uh, the last time I used it, it got clogged up, so I had to kind of cut the top here so hopefully I don't have any mishaps with the glue. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to use a tray. I think I'm just going to leave it on the ground like this or on the table like this and I'm just going to use um, tweezers. And um, before I put anything down with glue I'm going to make the pattern just so I know what I'm, I'm uh, where everything's going to go and if I like it or not. I'm gonna make like a flower type pattern here with these. Oh, it's a little dip in the fabric. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> so something like that. It's the placement I kind of want. So I'm going to start with the middle, get that out of the way, and hmm. I can get just a little dab, a little more, there we go, it's not quite where the diamond was, but I can move it around, and this does glue down clear, so if you have a little glue there, you won't see it when it dries. So I'm just going to spread the glue around and just stick it there. There's other types of glue you can use. Um, there's fabric glues. That'll work just fine. Um, probably even a glue gun, or not a glue gun, um, <laughs> Let me start that again. Um, there's other diamonds. <laughs> Way too late for me to do this, sorry. Let me start that again. There's other glues you can use, uh, not just like this. You can use fabric glue or you can use um, Gorilla Glue. This is what I have on hand. I think I'm actually going to stick one more of these here. more. I'm sticking with the larger drills only because the crystal ones are so small and I don't have a tiny little um, bottle with the tiny little tip to place those down without a huge hop or a huge you know glob of glue so sticking with the big ones.
The best part with this is you can go as simple or as complicated as you want. If you want to just leave it like this, that's perfect. It's a little, little design just like that. Um, if you want to go more, you can. Maybe I'll grab some of these, put these away real quick so I don't get confused. Grab some of these purple ones here. Oh, goodness. It's a big bubble there. Big. Too much glue. And you don't have to use tweezers. You can use the uh, multi-end with wax to pick up the, the, the diamonds. easier to do. Sorry, I'm not very good at crafting and talking at the same time. There we go. And maybe add some more teardrop ones. Oops, there was a diamond. So these are little diamond little teardrop diamonds. They're pinkish like light purple color. There. I think that's great. So I think that'll be my last little roundabout around this pattern and then we'll be done. So let's place down the glue.
Uh, one more thing, I do suggest putting something heavy over top of it, like some heavy books, just so the glue can adhere to the um, fabric. Um, some of the diamonds might not touch the books and actually get pushed down because of how bumpy everything else is, but at least the big ones will get uh, the full weight of it. So that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Really love the end result. It's so super sparkly and pretty. Let me know in the comments below what you think, and if you were going to use different glue, let us know as well so everyone can have a chance to pick something out themselves. If you guys are going to do this yourself, please don't forget to tag us, Streamer Designs, on Instagram or Facebook so we see all your lovely creations. So, of course, you guys, if you have not yet, I don't know why you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that notification bell and subscribe to Dreamer Designs so you don't miss out any new videos that we release. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hey guys, I will see you next time and don't forget to paint with passion.